welcome to our class on uh, lysimeters the term lysimeter was uh, derived from the greek word a lysis meaning loosening lysis means loosening the lysimeters are uh, the tanks buried in the ground to measure the percolation of water through the soils lysimeters are the tanks buried in the ground to measure the percolation of water through the soils lysimeters are the most dependable means of uh, directly measuring the evapotranspiration rate lysimeters are the best okay means and dependable means of uh, directly measuring no question of any problem directly measuring the evapotranspiration of the crop in the fields for agro metallurgical purposes okay now but uh, there are some uh, uh, basic requirements for uh, installation of the lysimeters number one among them is the the lysimeter itself uh, should be fairly large the lysimeter should be fairly large one the physical conditions uh, within the lysimeter area and outside uh, should be equal okay that is the second condition the third condition is the the lysimeter area should be a representative of the okay, surrounding area okay conditions differ a lot from the surroundings so if uh, a maize crop is there you are interested to measure the evapotranspiration of maize okay in the lysimeter it is a uh, the representative the area which you have chosen to install the lysimeter should be representative of that particular maize crop okay that's what so each lysimeter should have a God ring, God ring means okay at least ten times the area, ten times the area of the lysimeter we call it as the God area. So that God area should represent again the conditions outside, conditions within the crop field. So it is very uh, useful for directly measuring the evapotranspiration. Now see, uh, I defined what is. Uh, the words ETO and PET, these things I have clarified in the days to come. I am again going to clarify the combined loss of water, okay, both from the soil and also from the crop. The combined loss of water, both from the soil in the form of evaporation, from the crop transpiration, when unlimited water supply is there, that's what we call it as the uh, okay, potential evapotranspiration or ETO is the modern uh, lysimetric or modern evapotranspiration laboratories across the globe. Okay, now here as far as the crop is concerned, the crop should be in its uh, active growing stage. The crop should have unlimited water supply. It should have covered the full ground and just like uh, in a water tank or a lake, uh, water surface water there should not be there should not be there should not be limitation of water supply so that's what we call it as the potential evapotranspiration pet now see uh, there are uh, several methods of uh, determining the evapotranspiration now beloved students my colleagues i learned a lot from you from the society from the groups of scientists i worked so it is my sincere appeal to you Estimating the evapotranspiration is uh, going to be one of the major uh, activities of agrometrologists uh, across the globe for the reason that uh, in the climate change, just uh, imagine one of the scarcing item, okay, is the uh, water. So unless we know these methods, once again, what are those methods? Direct measurement by lysimeters, which I am going to explain in the next half minute to follow. Now, direct measurement by lysimeters, okay, we measure evapotranspiration, empirical formula that I am going to deal in the classes to come. They use one or two uh, weather elements. One or two weather element means, you know, uh, why cannot they talk? Many weather elements, all are in temperature, humidity, pressure, wind. Because uh, if you take one wonderful scientist are there with whom I worked, brilliant students are there with whom I contacted. We are all uh, 
very 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 much convinced that you know if you use one weather element or two that is more than enough for, as far as uh, estimating the potential for transpiration is concerned by empirical formula because that particular weather, uh, weather element influences the other weather elements so that's why okay so wonderful scientist which we, were, we are going to discuss in the days to come so direct measurement by lysi meters empirical formula using one or two maximum weather element the aerodynamic approach the wonderful aerodynamic approach the energy budget approach which i used during my msc in the early of course not early 1980-81 okay so balance ratio method delta d by delta e into so kind of psychrometric constant that's what i used so with the psychrometric stand now see the use of evaporometers the use of evaporometers are done by general uh, agricultural purposes and general water requirement purposes for the towns and cities from the lakes also now so what is the uh, the what are the just basics of uh, this particular lysi meter please see the diagram here okay so this particular diagram why i have drawn and what is the significance of this diagram i would like to share with you what is this uh, okay so light lysi meter have been used uh, extensively in the past to provide baseline information please note that please note that please note baseline information is provided by lysi meters for what we are going to discuss eddy correlation technique energy balance technique empirical formula field lysi meters for all those things this is the baseline baseline information for development calibration validation of et or water transpiration methods 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 i am going to develop them lysi meter is the best one now see where there are various types of lysi meters a drainage type are there okay a weighing type of are there <coughs> and now it is the alcoholic lysimeters have come what not different as the science developed different lysimeters have come now what is this the lysimeters are the devices typically tanks or containers that define a specific boundary to contain soil water and permit measurement of either they, they permit measurement of either the soil water balance volume of water percolating vertically That's why we call the vertical water flux. From the surface, vertical water flux. That's what is used for chemical movement within the plant. Now it is uh, so many industries are coming. So how much of the chemicals, okay, are entering into the soil? Listen for that also. Uh, it is being uh, the lysimeters are being used. This is the simplified pathway of water in an ET apparatus. This is the typical or the what I believe lysimetry depends on the basis of this one. This is the field level how lysimeter lysimeters work. Uh, devices uh, based. What is it? What this is a crop. For example, this is a maize crop. On the soil there is a maize crop. Water is added through irrigation. Water is added to the rainfall. Now so. some water goes to percolated down okay it percolates down so pe is uh, the combined loss of water both from the soil evaporation transpiration combined okay so this is the basis lysimeters are the devices which are uh, okay installed in the ground you know it's like this you know lysimeters are in the ground like this okay in the ground like this this is the crop maize crop okay maize crop Okay, this is the crop. This is the soil in which you know maize is there. So this is the full boundary of the maize crop. So the potential of water evaporation, air water evaporation, E T R P E T R E T O, so can be directly measured by using the lysimeter sample, either weighing type or you can say a drainage type. Okay, weighing type or uh, very very bigger ones. Of course, there are such limitations. However, lysimeter is going to be. one of the wonderful technology to come back the climate thing and to address the field level problems of the water in the days to come so this is what i would like to say so uh, another one or two important things i would like to share with you are the uh what is called here of course in the field you know please remember in the field in a metrology observatory we measure the rainfall with the simons ring gauge self recording ring gauge or typical bucket ring gauge at the same time we also measure by using uswb open pan operator only evaporation now so combined loss of evaporation and transpiration in a reference okay from the observatory from a surface observatory maybe class a class b class c observatory now see uh, how lysimetry is useful is like this 
the combined loss of water this is a basic principle lysimeters are internal weighing type or uh, you can say um, uh, drainage type lysimeters are obviously electronic have come so this is what uh, i would like to impress upon you and uh, just uh, i would like to tell you what is uh, uh, the use see as i said the climate change we have to address the problem of regional water resource planning regional water resource planning this is what i concluded in one of my books so for that also lysimetry is extremely useful now finally i would like to say the principle evapotranspiration is equal to the amount of rainfall evapotranspiration is equal to amount of rainfall okay and irrigation water added to the system minus minus and minus leaching percolation leaching or percolation once again the principle is here from this diagram pathway of water in an in an ed apparatus speed what is that evapotranspiration okay is equal to the amount of rainfall rainfall it is in the open field rainfall and irrigation water added to the system may be well irrigation may be canal irrigation or a consumptive use okay consumptive use from the wells and from the kind of conjunctive use whatever it may be minus leaching is the basic principle as far as the uh, field lysimetric approach is concerned why we have studied uh, uh, why we must study why we have to go again for the lysimetric concept is that uh, because of the climate change we have to address the problem and uh, for empirical formula for aerodynamic approaches for energy body approaches and for the use of evaporometers so lysimeters lysimeters and lysimeters only are going to be the order of the day for uh, research work and for practical use in regional that's what i told in the regional water resource planning for agriculture thank you very much may god bless you